All right, welcome back to another video with Sir Lucian, and we are in World of Warships, and this is the April Fool's Day game mode. So I signed in. I haven't been in this game in a while, and as you can see here, I'm looking at the Das Boot boat um, for this new game mode. So we're going to jump in and see how this goes. Now, every year, uh, Wargaming does a really funny... Um, April Fool's game mode for their games typically so uh, very similar to Gaijin who make War Thunder do the same thing and I'm gonna have a video on what they did too but here we are we're gonna play Runeberg in Jacuzzi it's a domination map with our basically toy boats so we're gonna get to play toy boats in a Jacuzzi bathtub which is pretty funny so once we load in here you can see uh, Typical map over there. It looks like we have, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight per side. We have some objectives in the center, A, B, C, and D. And then various little floaties and toys that are used as obstacles, which is just, I actually probably would play this game as a whole, not just as a, you know, a one-off mode. <laughs> this is actually done well enough that this could be fun to actually play. So I haven't really played much of the um, World of Warships in a while, so I've actually kind of forgotten some of the keys and some of the things. Um, General quarters. But we'll go ahead and try this out. So I'm in the DOS boat. You can see I've got, looks like, two main guns. I'm going to kick our throttle in, and it's a toy boat, so it's not very fast. Um, the room we're in is amazing. So you can see you know, a window looking outside in a beautiful sunny day. Um, there's some cool toys. I wish as a kid I had a, a tub like this and all these toys. This would have been fun. We're cruising ahead, full steam ahead. We're coming around that top right side here and I'm, I'm still even trying to remember just the keys to do different things. So we got a nice zoom in. And I didn't, I didn't remember how to uh, actually target. So I, I kind of mess around with the keys here a little bit to do that, too. And then I just accidentally hit the key. But hey, we're going to fire at the uh, beach ball. Sweet. I don't know what the ranges of my guns are. I didn't really pay attention in the, in the screen. So we're just going to try and see what we can do. And uh, I know there's a lead indicator. I'm starting to remember it as I play a little bit, thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, there's, you know, yeah, I can zoom in. I can lead, see where I need to hit. I keep trying to blow up that beach ball. And we're motoring along. So it's amazing to me that um, here we have, you know, a full on game, and somebody took the time to build an entire cool looking almost Pixar level for you to play toy boats in a, a jacuzzi tub um, and it's actually a pretty fun gameplay I mean I've got torpedoes off the front so I send off that I have no idea what the range were I didn't pay attention I was just playing around I have a couple of uh, special abilities I don't even realize what they do oh that guy got me with a good hit yep pounding into me now So I'm trying to get around. Hoping not to kill my own guy with uh, torpedoes. Could you imagine being a little kid and having the ability to actually have toys that play like this? This would be great. The enemy team has taken the lead. So their team's doing really good. They've gotten all the uh, objectives there. There, I'm starting to get some hits. I'm still not actually doing the zoom in. I'm just kind of firing. But we're close enough that I can. Um, getting my main batteries online. I'm trying to swing around. I'm thinking I'll, maybe I can get a torpedo on him. The enemy is about to win. But I... I yeah. you gotta, it takes a little practice understanding how fast the torpedoes are and where to fire them off. And I think I missed some of these a couple times. He must not have torpedoes. I thought he did, so I was trying to avoid him, but he might not even have them. He's on fire. 
There we go. Got some good hits. It's a nice detailed uh, toy boat. Good damage graphics on it. I mean, they even put damage states, and it's just amazing to me how much work they must have put into just a, basically an April Fool's Day game mode. So th their team's got us soundly beat here. Looks like we've got like, three guys left. They've still got seven. That's six. No, it's seven. Yeah, they got seven still. So it's going to be tough. And we get sunk. We go down with the ship. We the Dawson boot. Cruiser. Oh, but we got a destruction. Yes. So our torpedo was able to uh, finish somebody off. So pretty cool game mode. I don't know how long they're going to leave it up. Um, I never know if they're going to bring these things back like they've done other things in the past. Um, this is the first World of Warships one I've seen because the game's out this year. They also do a World of War Tanks. You can do some um, different things. I've played soccer in World of War Tanks. Um, they've done some pretty funny different versions in their World of War Tanks game. But if you guys like that, uh, maybe go ahead and check it out. And thanks for watching the video. Maybe we'll see you in the next one. So, bye-bye.